So, out of the fours of people we've asked questions, <laughs> tens, there was one about eating to perform yeah. or eating for aesthetics. Aesthetics. Tell yeah. me what aesthetics is first, Pete. Aesthetics, so the way you look visually uh, is the question being more specifically that this person asked the, the mental mind fucks that go with the difference. I don't think it's can I swear? I, bet, I, must, I think I'm going to start my time because I'm going to start. Yeah, I'm going to probably turn up now. <laughs> Put Welsh subtitles on for that. So, um, so eating for performance, right? People, as the name suggests, they they are fueling themselves for the results that they're trying to achieve in the, any given sport or competition that they are taking part in. Okay, so um, they will basically eat whatever they need to to get themselves through that to be able to perform for it, to be able to recover from it. Um, the way they look is of no great importance to them. It's from my experience, people that I have seen and worked with um, do not care what they look like so long as they get the result that they, they want from the competition. That they so they will eat to make sure that happens. Okay, um, Any given number of you know, macronutrients, protein, carb, fat, etc. Whereas people who are eating for aesthetics, um, although they at the same time will probably track what they eat, um, what's going in, what's going out, they are, lot, um, for the most part, less concerned with how they perform and more concerned, obviously, with what they look like. So they'll take a knock on their performance, knowing that they're going to look better through the food that they're eating. So they are more concerned with how they visually appear as opposed to what the hell happens with their performance. They probably couldn't care less, so the complete opposite. So the ma mental mind flux to go with this are that people need to understand or in their own head, decide what it is more important to them um, and then align their eating with that goal. Okay? So if you really want to know, if you really want to look better naked, then what you do in the gym, the numbers you do, the, the scores you get is a little to no concern for you um, and your eating should match that. Whereas if you are trying to improve your rep maxes, improve your scores, compete in sport, then how you look is of no importance. You're just trying to achieve better numbers. Wow. That's crazy. If it's all well and good people saying that, right? But all the people who eat to perform are ripped to fuck anyway. So like, oh yeah, I'm just eating to perform. I think, well, I think they only take the top off. They've got the top, they're shredded to fuck. You can keep this on camera. Um, I think people are sold a lie because those people are just genetically, they're freaks and they're going to look like that regardless of what the fuck they do. Um, they're going to they're be the shreds of bits. Whereas there are some people out there who are not and they are still good performers. But I think in the nature of the context of what we're talking about with CrossFit, people, people are misled a lot of the time because people do look like that. They think they eat like rabbits and they don't, they eat like absolute monsters. But that's just how they're made up and they're always going to look like that. I'm sure you can think of some people who are not in ridiculous shape like that but who are good athletes. Look at Matt Frazier. Oh, you know, he's like you, he's shaved abs into his body. I don't know what he looks like now. But he's pretty jacked now. But yeah. I tell you, he does not look like a crossfit athlete to me or me. Oh, there you go. Let's just have a look at her. Yeah. She, didn't, she probably didn't care what she looks like. I made a decision. Yeah. I made a decision that I'm not going to win the crossfit games. So you want to be aesthetically pleasing? I'm going to be aesthetically pleasing. Rather than a pillowy fat boy, <laughs> pillowy dough boy. And on that note, I'm out.